What is up, everybody? Hey, check this out. It is me, Dio Gen Z from Nintendo Radio, and what we have here in some lovely bubbly wrap is Pokemon Hard Gold, and I'm not talking about the ROM. You know, because a lot of people, you know, I found out that they got this game really quick by getting the ROM. And, uh, you know, I legit bought this game for like 60 bucks, 65 bucks, whatever. So, uh, yeah, and as you guys know, it was taking a damn long time to get here because PlayAsia was like, eh, it'll be three to five days. Then I call them, nah, I mean three to 21 days. So, uh, you're probably going to want to see this out of the bubble wrap, no doubt. And also we have my, well not mine, but my brother's DSi. So, it's funny, we're Nintendo Radio and we never went over the DSi yet, so it's kind of funny. But it doesn't matter. We will be seeing some hot DSi action with... Oh, 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 Pokemon Heart Gold! Now I don't know if you could really see that well. Maybe I can get, there we go. A little shimmering off the towers there. That's the Tin Tower. Um... Very cool, very cool box art. I mean, you could look at this online and see the picture of Ho-Oh, and it looks pretty badass, no no doubt. But uh, it's got shininess on it. Here's the side. It's got this kind of nice feel to it. Um, besides being shiny, it's kind of got this, I don't know if, what you would call it, but bumpy stuff over. we got some Japanese-y stuff on the bottom here. And the other side we have something more Japanesey, Nintendo DS. I love how that this box says Nintendo DS when J Japan had like the DSi before us, and they still don't really promote the DSi. I just kind of find that funny. And here's the top of the box, and the Poke Walker, which we will be going in depth ab about later on. Uh, quite soon. So here's the back, because this is always probably the most interesting part to people in the unboxings, especially for Japanese games that you really can't. Okay, for sale and use only in Japan, hmm? Interesting. Interesting. So we see it has, it's an RPG, we already knew that. Uh, something else in two to five players. It's probably for the Pokalathon. Pokathlon. I always call it Pokalathon, but it's Pokathlon. Made in, assembled in Japan, made in China. Okay, there's the uh, demonstration of the awesome new Pocket Pikachu. Because that's essentially what it is. I mean, it's not. It's the Poke Walker, But that's what it is. And we can see that there's a Pokemon right there. Why is he out of his ball? Oh, no! Look at that. Make it look like a game screen. All right, I'm stop. I'll stop. Um, so you have the touch pad available for attacks, just like in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. And you'll be seeing pretty soon that the touch pad does a lot more. And uh, you know, I wanted to do the unboxing first to show you guys that I have a legit copy, and that I'm not just downloading a ROM. Uh, was it worth it? Hell yeah, it was. I mean, was the wait necessary? I doubt it. But it was worth being able to show you guys the game. So here's the actual game itself. Well, the game box. Oh, that's hot. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that is... That's a difference from what's on this box. Slightly different. So that's very cool that we have both. Something I noticed, however, is... Uh, nope, it's not in here. Is the fact that the exclusive Pokemon... Um, what's it called? the Pokemon Ho-Oh figure for pre-ordering was not included. But you know what? I don't care. So here we got some instructions for the Poke Walker. And uh, they're all in Japanese, of course. So let's flip through it real quick. Upside down, and I don't care. So let's we'll throw that to the side. Because we don't really need that. Now here, before we open the game, is the actual Poke Walker itself. So this is the back of the Poke Walker. And you can see there's a little screw right there. And see it right there. It says D Nintendo DS. Again, not DSi, which is funny. I might save this. Not really. <laughs> I so love this game that I'll save the packaging. I just might because I'm not crazy. All right. And here we have the Poke Walker itself. 
All right. Now, you can kind of see that there's already a back on this. You may be wondering, well, why do you have two backs? Notice the difference. This one has a clip on it, and this one does not. So you can just shove this in your pocket. Well, not shove, but just put it in your pocket and, you know, walk around with it like that, which I'll probably be doing because I don't feel like taking it off and putting this one on. But we'll keep that. I thought that's pretty cool. They give you the option. Um, here's the front. It's very small. Here's, like, in my palm. I don't have any quarters or anything to uh, compare it to right now. I mean, I have some change, but just not on me. But it's very small. It's very compact. You can kind of see my sun over there. Um, it's in the poke walker. So that's very cool. And this is where we pull to activate it, but we won't do that yet because I want to show you that in another video. So we'll put the poke walker stuff over here. And now, oh, you know what? Got to open a DS game with a stylus just because that's how it goes. So we're going to open this bad boy up here. And once we get this game open, we will show off the DS card itself. And if I'm not mistaken, I do think the card is actually black all the way. So that's very cool. Um, I could get this open, of course. I'm a retard in opening plastic. Wonderful. Nintendo Radio. We can open boxes. That's why I opened the box off screen, because I just didn't want to waste time with that. Okay, so... Yep, I was correct. That's pretty hot. That is hot. Oh, wow. Woo! Alright, I know that's pretty weird for me to say that. Wow, a game card is hot. Ooh, yeah. Sexy. Uh, but really. Okay, so we got some important notice stuff about connecting the DS. Don't burn shit out. Uh, this, if I have a Japanese... Um, what's it called? Japanese Nintendo Club account I can use it and register that I don't know um, I, I wonder if I could register my uh, Japanese one Oop, move the camera there on the uh, American one I will try this is something don't know what exactly I think this is for the Pokemon championships which I don't know if that's for the cards or yeah I think it's for the cards here is about Nintendo Wi-Fi and here is a look through the strategy guide. Wow, not strategy guide. Totally messed that up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, and I don't edit over that. It's all in one take. Because um, we're real. But it is the instruction booklet, which is useless to me. Although I got a comment on this. Um, the paper that they use in here is not kind of the shiny laminated paper. <gasps> I think I saw Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil? I don't know, he was in there. There he is. Oh, they're all there. Those are the starters. And I will be choosing Cinequil because a lot of people said just choose whoever you want. And I got a few people saying Cinequil for the win. Jordan, yeah, shout out. Um, yeah, but I got to say that this paper quality, I like it better. I know that's kind of retarded to say, oh, the paper quality is so nice. But they did that in Electroplankton too where it's not like shiny and stuff. Now here you can see some of the gym leaders. We're going to be versing Falconer first the flying type gym and we're going to go through all these other trainers and yes I do know their names I'm not skipping them out I'm Bugsy Whitney Morty Morty's my favorite because he has Gengar I think that was like the first time I really really loved Gengar was Morty uh, then we got Chuck Jasmine who has steel types which back in the day steel type were all the rage and they were new and then we got Price the ice type gym and uh, last but not least, Claire, the Dragon type gym. And that's something to be said about the Johto gyms is, uh, you know, they're not just like the natural elements like fire and grass type and water type gyms. They they went into the other elements, and I really like that. The other types, not elements, sorry. Um, yeah, so I will definitely be having more videos up past this. Uh, I have a few things to do before this, but I will be posting videos Probably by tonight we'll have one of the first uh, parts of the walkthrough up, if not more, as fast as YouTube will let me put them up. And um, don't fret though if you were hoping for the Registeel capture to come, because 
it is coming still. I uh, it's funny you can actually blame Regirock because I I do the soft reset to get the right nature for training, and um, I'm trying to get an adamant Regirock and it has not been working. So I will do that later on. But after Registeel, I was going to do Darkrai, but now I'm going to do Shaman because I can show you how to download the um, Oaks Letter Mr. Gift, and I don't think I've ever showed anybody how to do Mr. Gift on Wi-Fi, which is pretty cool, because now you don't have to go all the way to Toys R Us and be the creepy guy. See, ho -Oh, that's who's on our game. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I am Dio Gen Z for Nintendo Radio, and I am out.